Jake Aki here for AppleTile.com. I'm here with the guys at Re and the new Kinetics, and they're going to show me the Re remote. Uh, so tell me about it. Yeah, and the Re remote allows you to create unlimited number of rooms. And in each of the rooms that you have, you can create unlimited number of devices, activities, favorites. Devices control your like TVs, uh, your VCRs, DVD players, or receivers. Activities are things like watch TV, watch a DVD, or uh, uh, listen to music. And your favorites are going to be like channels uh, that are you, you, you channels that you watch, like whether it's movies or sports or whatever. Great. So in case of a device. I can, yeah, let's, can we add one? Yeah, we can add a device. You can have unlimited number of devices as well. So here you go ahead and add a device. You can name the device whatever you like. You can leave, or accept the name that we give you. You go ahead and hit next. Here, this is to say, okay. That, that is a nice feature right there. You can just slide it on the bottom. Yeah, you don't have to keep flicking. That's right. That's right. Because we have databases of codes that are a database of codes. There are lots of codes that you don't want to have to go thumb through every time. You can just slide it real quickly. Whether it's the uh, manufacturer type, whether it's a brand, whether it's a code, it's really nice. Yeah, I really like that interface feature. There you go. Yeah. So now we have a, a plasma television selected. Now we're going to go ahead and say, uh, I want to go ahead and create a, a Panasonic television. Sure. Okay, and now it's going to come up with all the codes with the most commonly used code uh, first. At this point, you can actually go in and uh, press a button and try it. And if that uh, doesn't work, you can actually go in and say start a search using that button. It'll actually automatically test each of the codes for you. Oh, very nice. Yeah, now you just stop search, and you can go into a, do a test of the remote, which is going to give you all the buttons that are available for that device. So at this point in time, now you have created your... your uh, your device. You can come over here to the, uh, the devices window and now you can see all the buttons up here. Once this is set up, you can actually go in and edit these buttons. Each of these buttons can be moved to a different location or you just double tap on the button and it allows you to change images if you're interested in doing so. Or you can change the label on off. You can actually go in and learn the button if necessary. Okay. If you have a button that's uh, that's on your device, on your remote, uh, that isn't in the database, then this gives you a way to extend that set. Very good. Yeah. So we cancel there and go back. And then one of the nice features too is is that if you want more screen space here, you can actually double tap, double tap, get rid of all of the, oh, uh, the tabs, the title bars, and still make it. So that's kind of nice. You can shake it, bring it back, or you can double tap as well and bring it back. Once you have your devices set up, now you come back over here and you can say, now I want to create my activities. Okay, so you can add a bunch of devices or yeah, you can button add, commands? Yeah, you, you can add but, uh, multiple devices, and then uh, now we're going to go create an activity, which is going to control the multiple devices. Okay? Okay, so, so we can turn on certain pieces of equipment that's right. all at the same time. That's exactly right, yeah. So let's say we wanted to uh, watch a DVD. Uh, and these can be. This can be called anything you want. Right. I think I already have, have one of these. Yes. I'll call it three. Sure. At this point in time, now I go in. Typically, you're going to have a, a TV. You're going to have like a Blu-ray player, a receiver. So all you do is touch the instruments that you want to control. And then we're going to ask you some simple questions that are going to go help you build up an activity remote. So now, the audio generally comes from your receiver. Now you say my. Who controls the, the uh, play, fast forward, rewind buttons? That's going to be my Blu-ray player. And then menus are my uh, up arrow, down arrow, my OKs, selects. That's going to come from my Blu-ray player. And my channel is going to come from the Blu-ray player. As well as my picture in picture, maybe is my TV. With that information now, we're able, we take that and we you, now over the activities window. And now you can see that we built you uh, all these buttons. Awesome. So it auto generates a auto controller generates for Auto-generates a controller for you. Great. The audio uh, down here at the bottom, because people like to be able to mute, so we don't. Uh, we, 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 we have a fixed area in the remote that always stays there. Good. The nice thing here is that in addition to move, be able to move buttons like you could on the device remote, you can double tap these, and you, ha you have macro capability. Okay, so you can so do here's where you thing. do. Yeah, here's where you want to turn on your uh, devices. Um, so if there's a, a need to say uh, add a delay between turning on your TV and turning on your Blu-ray player, you just go ahead and you hit edit, and you come over here, and you can hit delays is one of the options here for devices. And let's say I needed a 500 millisecond delay here, I can go ahead and move that 500 millisecond delay between uh, turning on the TV and turning on the Blu-ray player. Okay. And now I'm done, and now that macro is available in the activities page. Awesome.
So very nice. So in addition to, once you have activities set up, you can go in and you can create favorites. So let's say I want to have uh, favorites of something like movies. I just give it a name. And then what is it? What, what, what activity do I, uh, what am I going to do with this? I'm, well, I'm going to watch my TV movies. So I'm going to say done here. And now I just go into the movies and say, what channels do I want to create here? Go ahead and enter in. So on my, my TV, uh, my cable box might be something like 702. It's going to be a favorite channel that I want. It's going to let me come up with a uh, logos. So I can just pick something like ABC. Next, I can add in any text I want, whether I can accept the name for the logo or enter in anything I like. Now I can do done here. And at this point, I go to the activity and, I, and I'm looking at watch TV. Then the, the activity or favorites associated with that now is oh, my, they're nice. all there. So all you do is push just one button and now you got a, 702. 702. In addition, we gave you buttons here because typically people want to have access to uh, a common set of buttons like hitting a, a select OK or info and uh, mute again because people like to be able to have quick access to mute. Awesome. So, so that's the re-remote. All right. Thanks very much. So looking forward to this. Okay.